So let's break down the different parts of this LED light. So first of all, you have the chip, obviously. This is the 275 watt daylight 95 CRI bulb. Then everything behind this is all about cooling. LEDs actually, believe it or not, could get incredibly hot because all the heat is being created in this one little tiny area. And the goal of the cooling system is really to pull the heat away from that chip and then dissipate it out into the air. So for this case, what we've built is this is actually a CPU cooler. So this is designed for the inside of a computer, which a CPU is actually really not that different than an LED and how it works, where it's putting out output of power and that power needs to be cooled down or else your computer would crash or your CPU would melt. So here, the CPU cooler is being used to cool down this LED light. So back here, you have these copper pipes that flow the heat away from the block with the light on it and then it goes into these fins and which this fan on here will blow air over those fins to dissipate that heat into the air around us. Now this piece in front here is the custom piece that we built for this light because we wanted to make sure that the LED chip was in the right place for our reflector. So here we're using this CPU cooler as our air cooler but in our garage lights they produce so much power, this 1800 watt chip, that we actually use water cooling. So we actually pump water through these hoses in through this metal block to pull that heat away from the LED chip and we actually cool it offset through our water chiller. This same principle applies to every kind of LED light. Somehow you need to cool it down. If the light isn't that bright, just putting it on a big block of aluminum, well, it might be enough to dissipate the heat. But when you get into these brighter chips that are really concentrated, you gotta make sure you put a lot of thought into how you cool that chip. So the one really custom part of this light that we built is this metal block right here. The only reason we did that was to get the chip further away from the chiller so we had room to put a reflector around the light. You could actually work this light if you didn't have a reflector very easily by just sticking the chip right onto the CPU cooler and not using this block at all. 